To get started in Hein Online, let's log in. Find the Login button located in the upper right hand corner of the Hein Online homepage. On the page that appears, log in directly or through your institution's proxy. When we log in, we're greeted with the Hein Online welcome page. From here, we have a variety of options. We can view subscribed databases by category or name, perform a search across various types of data, get search help with this breakdown of Hein Online search syntax, learn more about our subscribed databases or download a list of their titles, and finally, we can access a number of additional links, including our MyHein profile, recent blog posts, some Hein Online help resources, contact information and social media links, and general account information. From this welcome page, we could dive into any one of our subscribed databases here, but let's first explore how to perform a search. This is the most intuitive way to discover content in Hein Online. Enter a search into the search box. A series of options will appear in a dropdown, allowing you to specify your search intent. Let's choose the Just Search For option to search the full text of documents for mentions of our key phrase. Because we're performing this search from the welcome page, it will search all of our subscribed Hein Online content by default. If we wanted to limit our search to specific databases, we could use the database selector right here. If we wanted to search within one database, we could select it from our list and perform the search there. But for now, let's search all databases. Submitting the search takes us to the search results page. From the results, we can do the following. See where the keyword appeared in text snippets of each result. Filter the search results by date, topic, location, title, and more and sort our results by various methods, including relevance, number of times cited, volume date, document title, and more. We can also use these icons here to modify our search, search within the results, print a page of these results, expand all matching text pages, and toggle infinite scroll on or off. Finally, we can also bookmark one or more results, download a PDF of the document, email them to ourselves or a colleague, and more, while also viewing citation and access information for each entry. Let's click on one of these results. After doing so, we're brought to Hein Online's image-based PDF of that document. Every page here is an exact recreation of the original printed page and comes with a variety of research options. Let's explore them. In this view, we can see the table of contents right here. We can use the image toolbar here to do a number of things, including navigate between pages, download or print the document, email a link to the PDF, and more. We can also see scholar check statistics here telling us, for example, how many articles and cases this document has been cited by. We can also see multiple citation formats for this document and copy or export them. We can see what topics have been assigned to this document, if any. And then we can also use the More Like This tool to extract interesting words in the document, and then view similar articles based on those words. Finally, from back within the page viewer, we can return to the title, the database homepage, or the welcome page at any time using the breadcrumb trail here. We hope you enjoyed this short tip. Stay tuned to the Hein Online blog for the next one. See you soon!